How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and looks like we have a new Mythic banner to react to. So, it's a little bit earlier in the month than I expect it to be, but whatever. Let's get into it right now! Alright, who's gonna be? Oh, what the? Wait, we're getting Asker already? <laughs> a world of companionship where all gaps between people can be bridged. That is my ideal. Man, his voice is a lot lower than I would have expected it to be. Whoa, what? Attack Defense Bulwark 3? So colorless. Oh! Holy, he's huge! Dang. You can do better. Ooh. Alright, who's gonna be on the banner? Peony. Celica. Pumeria. Dimitri. Already have him. Saros. Ooh, Asheros. Pretty good for emerges. Odor. Oh, Marita's nice. Not as good. Ooh, I need an Arthur. Ooh, Medius! Okay! Uh, wow. I really did not expect him to be released so soon. Also, he's a light mythic, just like, um... <laughs> his retainer, who's also a mythic, who are supposed to be on god-tier levels of... You know... Levels, but... Uh, whatever. Um, also kind of weird that Niffle and Moosebell and the Amir aren't mythics, but uh, Asker is. Like, what's up with the favoritism, IS? I mean, I like I like Asker as much as the next person out there, but come on. I think those people. I think those other guys got uh, you know, ripped off a little bit. All right, there's his introduction. God of openness. Okay. Um. Okay, so he's a colorless infantry uh, beast. Light mythic who grants defense. Okay, and the extra, um, like, team slot. Deal. Wait, why am, I, why am I pressing that? Um, where the fuck? Okay, it's taking me a while because I'm just bad at finding it. Uh, anyways, so he, his weapon is Illuminating Horn. Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. You know, they just give this out to anyone now. It's almost like if you don't have it, like, that's that's the weird one. Uh, if unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally, okay, grant attack speed, get everything plus five during combat, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, nice. Deals damage equal to 20% of unit's defense and reduce damage from foe's attack by 20% of unit's defense. Huh. So I'm gonna guess he has a whole lot of defense. I mean, that would just make sense. Uh, at start of turn, if unit is adjacent to only beasts... Okay, this is transformation shit. Uh, unit transforms, gains attack and stuff, uh, and neutralizes... Oh, and null guard, so... Yeah, I think that's just the new power creep of, like, beast units. Like, they're just giving out all these extra stuff. Um, so I think there's gonna be a tanky boy, um, and he's gonna hit pretty hard, so yeah pretty good um at least in terms of combat but you know a lot of mythics we kind of want them more for supporting rather than combat so let's see if he has some support um anyways he got bonfire attack defense ideal four so those are nice um he has attack defense bulwark three so foes with range one cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit what he's become gatekeeper and foes with range two Cannot move through spaces within two spaces of unit. Wow, okay. This is- that's basically gatekeeper, right? Is, is this inheritable? So anyone's gatekeeper? Am I- am I missing something? Is this not gatekeeper's thing? Uh, does not affect foes with pass. Wait, does gatekeeper's thing also affect people with pass or something? Are we gonna have a pass meta soon? <laughs> that will be interesting. Uh, inflicts attack defense minus four on- during combat, restore 7 HP to unit after combat. Wow, so he 
You get Mystic Boost, the healing part of it, and kind of a lull attack defense, kind of. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess it shuts down, like, those, uh, uh, those, like, cavalry, like, teams a little bit. Um, who would this be good on, I wonder? I mean, I guess it depends on, like, the inheriting restrictions. He's, I guess it's guaranteed it's going to be on infantry, but I don't know if it's going to be on anything else. Maybe cavalry? Maybe armors? Um, if you don't care about combat, give them this just so they can't pass the armor unit. That could be kind of good, I think. Uh, maybe. I don't know if this really makes sense on a flying unit thematically. and Or a cavalry unit either. Those units don't really block shit. They mostly, like, move a lot, so... Um, yeah, we'll have to see about that. But, um, it's an interesting thing to just give out as inheriting. Um, alright, cool. And then he comes with opened domain. What is that? It looks like a snowflake as a symbol. It should be like a niffle thing. Whatever. Um, at start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of any allies from a different title than unit? What? We're taking into account titles now? Uh, Grant... Resonance Blade and Resonance Shield to unit and all allies within two spaces of uh, unit. And also, if unit or any of those allies have their special cooldown count as maximum. Oh, wow. Grand special cooldown count minus one to them. Oh, wow. So he's basically getting Osseus Pulse 2. Um, and he's giving out a bunch of bonuses. Um, I don't know if that's really broken. I mean, that's pretty good on a... On a um, Gale Force team, maybe not broken, broken, but it's pretty good. Um, and this is not this is for non-heroes units. I guess it's like to show how open he is. Like, I'm not just here for the heroes units. I'm here for people from everyone because he's so open, you know. Um, interesting. I don't know how impactful the Resonance Blades and Resonance Shields is gonna be. It's gonna be nice for sure. Um, but the special cooldown count is what's really important in my opinion. I guess if you could stack that, you could just get some people to Gale Force, like, in, like, one hit in some ways. Like, if they already have cooldown count minus one, and they have Valoria support, and then they get this, like, wouldn't Gale Force just be reduced to one? And they just gotta, like, get at least one hit. So as long as they don't, the enemy doesn't have guard, they don't necessarily have to field, um, a heavy blade or... Or a flashing blade. Yeah, that's um, that might be interesting to uh, work with. Um, I don't really use Valoria as much as I should, just because mine doesn't have as many merges as I would like. Um, but I might have to try that out. So it's really interesting. Um, so this unit, I, I don't know. I think seems okay. Maybe again, I'm pretty bad at judging units for like top level meta but I think he's probably gonna be good I think at the very least he's gonna be on a bunch of Gale Force teams and I guess open domain in general is just pretty good um I don't know how good like I don't know if he is better than Ash honestly because Ash is it's kind of bonkers um I don't know about this bulwark thing it's it's interesting is, is it just... I'm pretty sure it's just Gatekeeper's thing, right? Um... So that's cool. And his, um... His weapon's gonna do a lot of damage. I think that's... That, that's just a no-brainer as well. I guess, can he give himself minus cooldown, Cal? Um... No, I don't think so. So he might... But even then, he has cooldown count minus one. So he might be a pretty okay, um... Gale Force unit himself. So, yeah, let's check out the uh, animation again, because he was one big boy. <laughs> Damn, he's huge. I guess there's no more laser. He just kind of goes in. You can do better. Alright, that's pretty sick. 
Um, yeah, he came way sooner than I thought. I think he probably came out way sooner than most people thought. Um, maybe it makes sense because he's so, like, he's a god of openness, so he wants to join our barracks as soon as possible. And maybe Embla is never going to show up because she doesn't want to join us. That might actually make sense thematically. I'm, I'm all for that. Um, anyways, who, who else is on the banner? Um, here, let me get a better look. Okay, cool. So, there's Arthur, um, from Drew Girl. I don't have him, so it would be really nice to get him. Uh, a Legendary Celica. We kind of have Ascended Celica, so she's, like, kind of better, so... I mean, it's nice to get merged on her for Arena, and she's probably going to get a pretty decent remix, hopefully. Uh, Ashura is great for merges, uh, for Ashura Season. Um, and she's a pretty decent support unit. There's Rhea, or I mean, Saros, who, you know, is good for an anima season to open up that, uh, you know, that slot, that seventh slot? Sixth slot? Seventh slot, I think, um, for defense, um, an anima season. Uh, Peony, really good. I, I don't think I ever got an extra merge on her. I only have my neutral one for, that was given to free. I really wouldn't mind getting more merges on her. Dimitri already got plus 10 on him, but he's a pretty good unit. Uh, Plumeria, really great as well. would love to get more merges on her. Odor, uh, also, not bad. Um, you know, unlocks that 7th, um, team slot in defense. Uh, ooh, I would love to get Ascended Marita to give Vital Astro to my, uh, a Legendary Dimitri. I've seen those crazy, like, damage reduction builds on him. I really want to try that out. Um, Legendary Nana is just crazy good. I think people definitely underestimate her. She is... She's scary. You do not want to enemy face her. And Medius. Yeah, Medius is good. He's a little scary too. Um, and he does not die easily. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty good banner. Um, definitely gonna go and try to get Asker. He seems cool. Um, yeah, he's. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh. Yeah, pretty good banner. Maybe not, like, super crazy or anything, but I think it was better than last month's banner, legendary banner. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys look forward to me summoning on this, because I think it's going to be a blast. Um, anyways, what do you guys think about this banner? Um, do you think Asker is cool? Uh, do you think he's really good, or maybe not super good? Worse than Ash, maybe? Worse than his retainer? I don't know, we'll see. Um, and yeah, let me know if you're going to summon on this banner, because it's, um, yeah, I really like to get my hands on Asker. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.